Hello and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today, the 5th of August 2013. So today's news is only really one thing, but it's pretty cool. Now, the uh, the Connected Realms feature is apparently a new thing. Really, it's just a renaming of the previous Virtual Realm system. But they have a big FAQ post here, and I'm just going to basically read through it and give you my thoughts. So... Here we go. They said, over the years, World of Warcraft players of all kinds have naturally migrated to different realms to play with their friends, find new guilds, strive for heroic boss kills, search for the most competitive PvP experiences, and otherwise try to find the right place to call home. Over time, these shifts in player population can sometimes create less than optimal play experience for those in the less popular realms, making it tougher to find guilds, conquer group content, and get what they're looking from the auction house and in-game economy. In patch 5.4, we are looking to address this with a new feature called Connected Realms. Building on our existing cross-realm technology, Connected Realm is a set of two or more standard realms that will be permanently and seamlessly linked. These linked realms will behave as if they were one cohesive realm, meaning you'll be able to use the same guilds, arena teams, single auction house, and run the same dungeons and raids, and join other players to complete quests. Our goal with Connected Realms is to give players on lower population realms more opportunities to group up, compete, and connect with players and take on Azeroth's biggest challenges. That sort of interaction is part of what makes World of Warcraft fun, and this feature will help us deliver that experience to more people. And here is the FAQ. So pretty much, it's just a rebranding of Virtual Realms, but it's nice that we're getting some more solid solid talk about it. So they have a bunch of Q&A things which we'll be addressing. They seem to actually address pretty good, pretty good concerns, so I'll read through them and give you my thoughts. Now the first one is, uh, the question is, why are you implementing Connected Realms? They've said that as it's evolved, people have naturally gravitated towards a subset of very active realms, leaving behind lower pop realms. This is very true, due to the massively mul multiplayer nature of World of Warcraft. Some gameplay experiences are not well suited to a low pop realm. By allowing for two or more low pop realms to play together, we hope to give more players opportunities to participate in group activities and foster more of an in-game community. Connected Realms will allow us to link the population in a way that's not disruptive to players, doesn't have any negative um, impact on players' sense of identity and character. Other alternatives such as merging realms would require us to, require us to force name changes if there were conflicts, and could lead to some confusion for returning players who'd log in to find their realm missing, which would be kind of crap. So yeah, some players also feel strong ties to their na uh, realm's name or history, and they don't want to erase that. Pretty much, this does seem like the most seamless way to do it. I think this is a very good way, and it's much better than just a plain old merger. It's clearly been well thought, thought out, and I really do think that the low pop realm thing, it was a problem that's been hounding the game for quite a while now. I mean, you take 4 million people out of the game, and you're going to be left with a lot of pretty much ghost towns. And the people on those ghost towns are going to leave as well, and that'll be the realm dead. So yes, it's very, very good that this is happening. Now the next question is why implement this now? They said, our cross-realm technology has continued to evolve since it was first developed for joining players in dungeons. It's now at the point where we can create seamless worlds made up of individual realms, and we think there are some really positive benefits to that, so fair enough. The next question is, how can I tell if somebody is on my connected realm, but from a different realm? They said, similar to how we use the star symbol next to a player's name to denote, denote if they are in another realm, if you're in, say, Raidfinder, Dungeons, or that sort of thing, they'll be using a hash to indicate somebody who's a part of your connected realm, but not your home realm. So it definitely seems like you have multiple home realms, and when they're connected together, that's what's called the connected realm. So they also said that, which realms will be uh, connected as connected realms? Saying connected so many times here. And the answer is that they haven't decided how many realms will be a part of a connected realm, or what other realms they'll be connected to, though realms will only be connected to other realms of the same type. So, at the end, they're considering a whole bunch of factors, including battle group, population, and faction balance. Next up, they said, or the question was, how many realms will make up a connected realm? They said they don't know how many yet, and it's likely to differ from realm to realm. Pretty much, I just think you're going to be targeting, say, an ideal realm realm number. So say, I don't know, 10, 20k people on each side, something like that. And uh, their goal is to create a vibrant and fun experience where you can enjoy guilds, auction house, and all that good stuff. The next thing they said is, will there be any limitations? And the answer is, nope, there should be none. They want the experience to be seamless, and it won't work. I'm sorry, and they expect it to work as if you're suddenly part of a more active realm. And as for when it's available, 
They said they haven't determined when we'll be creating the first connected realm, but we expect it'll be sometime after the launch of patch 5.4. So this actually is not going to be a patch 5.4 feature, but I would assume it will be either patch 5.5 or some sort of interim period. Overall though, I think this is a very positive effect in the game, and I think it'll be very good for subscriber churn. I'm pretty sure that, especially in the West, we have subs dropping off like flies from these sort of dead ghost realms. You know, there's a lot of people I know that are in this situation. And at the end of the day, if a realm is 10 times smaller than another realm, you're probably going to have 50 realms that are that size. And that's a lot of players that are just disconnected, disjointed from the game and aren't really involved in, uh, in interesting stuff. They don't have a fun play experience because of it. It used to be a problem where some realms couldn't even kill on Dasta because they didn't have enough 90s um, on concurrently to do it. So really, this is a fantastic change. And I know this is a bit of a, a sort of singular focus for a WoW Daily, but at the end of the day, it's really all there was today. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Now, the question of the day is, what do you think of this feature? Now, I expect the answers to, pre to pretty much be unanim unanimously that it's good because, well, there are no downsides. On an objective basis, there are none. Unless, you know, a realm full of ultra awesome people is connected to a realm of douchebags, but the chances of that are very low. So I'll leave you that question. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.